For those of you who are taking communicative abilities in English, I created a rubric that I would refer to as you are uh, continuing through your writing process. You can access it by going to Trello. And there's an attachment that, has, uh, that includes a link that will take you directly to the file, the, uh, the original rubric. You can find this also in week six. If you uh, go into Microsoft Teams and go under week six, you'll find also the problem solution essay. Now, what I'd like for everyone to do is to basically copy this Excel spreadsheet. So if you click on the ellipsis here, the three dots, and select copy. Be careful and select copy, not move. And what I would like everyone to do is to move a copy of this rubric first to your, your, um, your unit to SA folder that's shared. All right. So you'll be able to see this and move it or copy it over and then go into week five, your essays. And again, you'll just have to do this one time and then you'll be, you'll be all set. And then what I would do is I would rename your rubric, your Excel spreadsheet, uh, the, uh, with your full name, it use, I would use exactly the same, uh, name as your word document as you have for your Excel spreadsheet. Then that should nest it. It should order all of these files so that each of you, each of your Excel spreadsheets or each of your rubrics should be right up against or right next to your word document. That's the intention. So each of you again should have your Word document and your rubric all within week five, unit two essays. Again, these are the Word documents that we're going to be using throughout the unit to complete the first draft and also the final draft. So this will make it easy, easier to see uh, side by side your actual draft and also the rubric. Now, once you've renamed the rubric, take a look at it. And the way this works is we have the criteria here in column A. And it's divided into sections. So we have an introduction, body, conclusion, and then writing conventions at the bottom that applies to the entire essay. The grammar and word choice, punctuation, and APA will apply to the rest of the sections. It is important to note here, though, as it, when it comes to APA, which refers to, well, refers to a lot of things, but specifically as it relates to citations and references, the conclusion paragraph will be the only paragraph where you will not have a citation. It'll be the only paragraph where you do not have a citation. You should have at least one citation in the introduction, specifically in the context of the problem. You'll have one citation there, and then you'll have at least one citation in each of your body paragraphs. Okay, but you will not have a citation or you shouldn't have a citation in your conclusion. Punctuation and grammar word choice will apply to the rest. The uh, criteria here that's in each of these sections obviously will apply to each of the respective sections. So we have introduction. These are some things to keep in mind. You can notice here, or you will notice that you have weight associated with each of these. So do keep that in mind also. The way that I'll be using this rubric and the way that you should use it as well is we have a scale along the top. If you get 85%, it'll fall into this column, 95% and so on. And uh, this will calculate the weight and the overall weight per section. And then down here, you'll see the total. All right, so a 10 will meet, it meets all expectations, meets some expectations and does not meet expectations is the general descriptor ap applicable to the scale from zero to 10. And uh, this is what I would use. This is, uh, I think, what I would use to guide you as you're developing your, uh, your essay as we try to complete the first draft by the end of next week, week seven. We're currently in week six today's september 13th 2021 so we have basically two weeks to complete the first draft and then we'll have one additional week to make any final changes to complete our finished our final draft all right so i hope this helps i would take these steps into uh as to get 
getting your your rubric over to our folder where you currently have your essays. Again, this is where your essays will stay. Uh, there will be no need to send me any files. If you have questions at any point during the process, you can leave comments in the document. At this point, as we begin week six, the expectation now is to work completely inward in your respective files and leave comments. We have kind of a conversation or back and forth using that comment feature as questions uh, come up. All right, so if you guys have any questions about moving your rubric over to this folder, make sure that you uh, let me know.